hi guys it's colette welcome back to my channel i'm kind of listening to uh my daughter watch my daughter's watching hey arnold we've never seen it. it's kind of funny um do i need more light yes i needed more light sorry about that okay i had to just cut the light on i was trying to film with only the light coming from the window but it wasn't a good idea it seems anyway how are you doing how is everybody doing um today we're gonna do our favorites friday video and um it's not a lot of products as i said last week it's gonna be just a few items and i'm gonna also include brushes this week very briefly and one is a mascara so now that i've mentioned mascara i think i will open with the mascara i have a few products in in front of me like four makeup products and um three tools so here we go people all right so um from the drugstore and this looks like it is pretty much drugstore themed go figure sorry i didn't plan that i just picked the products i wanted to talk about and they all turned out to be drugstore so first thing is mascara the l'oreal voluminous carbon black um mascara why can't i find the word anyway <laughs> this is uh blackest black i think the black the darkest shade but I love this mascara. The brush is very manageable. There's a, still a little bit in here, but I'm ready to throw this out because I've been rotating it, using it for quite a few months, more than three months, I think. And I think it's time for it to go because it's starting to get a little bit clumpy. I used it this morning, but I only did one coat because I noticed it was kind of clumping and flaking a little bit. But that only happens when the mascara begins to get old and from dipping and using you know guys that you're supposed to change out your mascara every two to three months right because you use it daily chances are there's bacteria in there and especially when you see the texture of the mascara has changed and it behaves differently it applies differently you want to take and get rid of that mascara is too affordable at the drugstore to keep using the same one and then end up with an eye infection or some such thing so i tend to get rid of mascaras a little bit faster these days because i have a bad habit y'all i sometimes want to hold on to the mascara because i like the formula or it's really good and i just keep working it and working it but then after a while i'm like really what you doing it's time for it to go and i will reluctantly <laughs> throw it out but I'm doing better. All right, so this is this mascara, and this one, as we speak, is going in the trash because I'm done with that for the month. All right, another favorite item from the drugstore is a foundation, and it's this LA Girl Pro Matte HD, which is high definition, long wear matte foundation. I really, really like this foundation a lot for the price point of this foundation i never thought i would like it so much i think i also have a review on it and i've mentioned this several times in different videos but it's made it to my favorites friday because not only does it keep you matte i live in south florida and it is hot and this bad boy stays up and plays with me lasts all day and i still definitely have to it doesn't disappear like some foundations have a tendency to just kind of during the day you're wondering wait why am i patchy where did this go this does not get patchy it doesn't smear away and it is not waterproof there's nothing on it that says waterproof but it really behaves as if it is i don't know what is in this formula but i hope la girl never changes it and i would definitely repurchase this foundation my shade if you if you're interested is in cafe and it's a perfect match the next item we're going to talk about is the foundation i'm wearing today 
It's the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition All Day Shine Free Foundation. And it's this one. Guys, I've worn this three, four times now. And every time I wear it, I get compliments. Uh, the girls in Walgreens today was looking at me like, you're wearing new makeup. What you got on today? That's new foundation. That's You got on something. You're, you're matched perfectly and everything's fine. But I can tell you're using something new. It's this. And that started a whole thing in, in the Walgreens I was in, but we're not going to talk about that. However, this is um, t -t 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 Tan Golden. The shade I'm wearing is Tan Golden. Whew, yes. I did not feel this morning when I applied it that I needed to set it. And you just saw me use this um, setting sponge to just dab right around here just now and here because the t-zone is where i get the oiliest and it's not that i was that oily right i just needed to just block to make me feel better because i'm looking a little shiny on camera but in person i could have gone without it however that being said this applies nicely and if you're a woman of color I think you'll be happy because you will find a shade. Based on the shade range I saw in Walgreens, the Walgreens I got this from several weeks ago, you will find a shade range for this. So I have not picked up anything else from the line, but I think I will because this has made it into my drugstore favorites, that one. All right. The next product is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is a shade I'm wearing today and it's called Fighter. And I ate and just ate off a little bit on the inner part here, but I really like this shade y'all. And there's a shade called um, Pioneer, a red color. I think I have about eight or 10 of these lippies. And it's one of the formulas that I prefer from the drugstore when it comes to liquid matte lipsticks because this not only lasts throughout the day, but you notice I just put a little bit on in there and that's just because I was eating something greasy and I'm not the, um, I'm not that person that eats and like miss my whole entire lip with the food. No, and I'm not messy either. But when I eat, I tend to take off the inner part of the lipstick. But this one, it will last you all day. It's not tacky. It's, it doesn't, it dries down very, very nicely and matte. Um, it doesn't crack. It doesn't flake. It does not dry out my lips like the Saharan desert. So that's a good thing. And um, that's the problem I had with the Milani ones. But this is a favorite from the drugstore when it comes to matte lipsticks. There's another one, but I'll share that with you next week. Now for the tools, I have three dirty brushes, three used brushes, and I felt inspired to mention these as honorable mentions. One of them is quite new to the collection, but the brand isn't. And I just wanted to share those with you. So the first one, you know Morphe, everybody knows Morphe. This is one of my favorite brushes from them. This is the E4, and it does have my blusher on there because this is a what I use for blush. I use this one for blush. I use it for powder. I use it for contouring. I just really like this one. Morphe brushes, some of them are a hit and miss in my opinion, but this one, the E4, is actually one of my favorite brushes from Morphe. All right, this brush, y'all saw me haul this a couple weeks ago or a week ago or two weeks ago. I don't remember. It is the uh, brush. It's supposed to be a blush brush that came out from Wet n Wild with the Rebel Rose collection. And by George, I cleaned this brush and do you know what I've been using it for? Foundation absolutely listen if i go anywhere and see another one of these i will pick it pick up a backup for this because this brush is absolutely amazing i used it 
all week to apply my foundation. It applied the True Match beautifully. It applied the Cafe, the LA Girl. It applied this full spectrum this morning. And, oops, I also use it to apply my Fenty. Because, to be honest with you guys, I don't like the Fenty from foundation brush much, but I like the, how the fight. <laughs> Look, no, I'm not, I'm not edit it, you know. Anyway, I love how the Fenty foundation applies using this brush. So that's like four foundations for the week that I've actually used this brush to apply. And every foundation apply beautifully it's dense but it's not too dense it's soft and as you can see it's dense but you can see right through it. look at that and it is so 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 very soft you guys it is so soft so this is a brush i don't think you want to use it for blush because on my face that blush would be like all over my cheek as big as my little gerbil looking cheeks are but anyway this brush Another brush from the drugstore because BH Cosmetics I deem as a drugstore. They make good brushes. This one particularly is from the My Ray Ray collection. It's My Ray Ray collection. However, I have other BH Cosmetics brushes. And let me tell you something, ladies. It is that one brand, BH Cosmetics is one brand their shipping sucks to high heaven because even in december i bought stuff and three weeks later in the second or third week of january was when my or my order arrived and i was like wait hold up somebody posted a haul and then they're like wait 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 wait, what i ordered stuff where's my stuff i forgot i ordered something from the company however if you see their brushes whether this set this set i saw in um this is a thing the aurora light set i saw this in um marshall's the other day and good price but i didn't pick up a second set i didn't need to um this one i've had for years and it's just another bh cosmetics brush set i have never been disappointed with their eye brushes or their face brushes i've given away bh cosmetics brushes um to friends and family because they're good they don't break i have um you'll wear the you'll use these until you actually get tired of them and you want to pass them on or throw them out because you want a new set or something but these brushes they are really really good quality and i like i don't know what hairs they use for um these the it's my ray ray set but trust me these are so 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 good i've been using them i've used the eye brushes this is one of the eye brushes i've used the eye brushes they blend beautifully, seamlessly, applies the makeup. This one I've used for highlighting. I've also used it for blush and I've used it for contouring. I've used it even to set underneath my eye with loose powder. This is my favorite from the It's My Ray Ray entire collection because this brush is the, what, number three brush? And this one is a beautiful multitasker. So. The next time you see BH Cosmetics run a sale, which they do quite often, grab you some brushes, guys, because it's just one of those makeup brushes that I really adore from the drugstore. And I chose not to talk about um, this one. What did, what did I name again? Mm, hold on one second. The Real Techniques these are from the drugstore as well these are good however you'll get a better deal on a set from bh cosmetics and this is why they are my friday favorites today because i've realized i thought about it thought about it and i'm like which brush company hands down i can get a set of brush affordable don't break the bank and sometimes free shipping depends on when you order but of course the shipping is going to take a little longer but you will not be disappointed 
BH Cosmetics, they won. Uh, sometimes we tend to pay a little bit more for the real techniques because we see them in the stores and the holidays, blah, blah, blah. And you don't get that much, except it's a big holiday set like the ones I featured in one of my previous videos. But BH Cosmetics, they own that. So they are my brush foundation my uh <laughs> favorites friday brushes from the drugstore and that'll be all guys knock yourselves out go get some bh cosmetics brushes because you will not be disappointed and um yeah i've had problems with morphe i've had problems with elf i've had problems with even some of my mac brushes and they cost a pretty penny but i've never been disappointed with a set from BH Cosmetics, as I've said before, and I will say it again and again and again and again and again until you understand. Get it? Got it? Good. Anyway, that's my favorites for today, Friday the 17th, 2019. I am going to bid you goodbye for this video, and I have something else I'd like to speak about, so I'll be back with another video. Take care, you guys. Take care of each other. Be kind. Enough love. Walk good. Bye-bye.